Hey, it's Josh with Commonwealth Curb Appeal. Wanted to talk to you a bit today about driveway aprons, specifically paver driveway aprons and things that can go wrong with them, as well as what to expect for initial costs of a paver apron. Uh, first off, I wanna go over a couple of things that I noticed when evaluating this existing apron. And the first thing is here with this drainage pipe. As you can see, I've measured, there's only about five inches from the top of this drain pipe to the top of the pavers, which is a problem because driveway pavers need at least 10 inches of compacted crush and run base. And uh, this definitely doesn't have that. So what's happening is these pavers are settling and shifting. Eventually they'll be cracking and um, this pipe underneath can eventually be damaged. So another issue is that in some of these places you can see where there's a bunch of squares, just square after square after square, just stacked, uh, not staggered. That is um, not creating a proper interlock, which you really need to have interlock on driveways. Uh, one of the things that I am looking at doing for this client to fix this issue, instead of pulling out the whole drain pipe underneath, is to take the pavers up, put in a four inch concrete slab as the base, and then put our inch of bedding sand and the pavers back on top. And in order to accomplish that, we're gonna need to raise all of this up, and we're gonna have to go back about 30 feet with the cobbles, take them out and relay them higher so that it all looks like it was meant to be like that. Typically, you can expect to spend about $20 per square foot for paver driveway aprons. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the shop, get this estimated. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please hit the like button and please just subscribe to our YouTube page. And if there's any content that you would like to know about as far as outdoor living projects, uh, please ask in the comments and I will definitely make a video for you. Thanks a lot, take care.